You probably use Chrome every single day on your Android smartphone, so we've compiled 10 of our favorite tips and tricks so that you can get an even better mobile browsing experience. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Before we start, this isn't the most comprehensive list, and there are some basic tips so that nobody is left out no matter their experience level. Now, with that out of the way, let's get going. There is a very basic dark theme in Chrome for Android, but adding the following Chrome flag, you can enable a more proper dark mode, which darkens almost all websites you may be browsing. It's not perfect, but until websites add their own dedicated dark modes, this is a decent way to have an eye saving dark theme on Chrome. As phone screens have increased in size, the location of certain UI elements like the address bar feel a little bit poorly implemented. You can move the address bar though to a better bottom lower bar position using the on-screen Chrome flag for better one-handed access. A simple one that you might not be using all that frequently, you can actually switch between background and open tabs by swiping left to right or right to left across the address bar. On top of that, you can also swipe down from the address bar to open all background tabs. To add to that, there's even the ability to quickly refresh a page by pulling down from the address bar, which is great for live blogs and pages that might not automatically update quickly enough. If you don't already see the home button in Chrome, you can enable it on Android if you don't already have it by entering the on-screen Chrome flag. Alternatively, if you have the option and want to alter or remove it, then you can head to settings, home page and toggle it off. From here, you can actually also change your home page to any page you like. If you're worried about your data limit or data usage when browsing, you can enable the built-in data saving mode, although you may have this enabled as Chrome does sometimes prompt this automatically. To enable data saving mode, head to settings, light mode toggle on. This also has the added bonus of increasing some page load speeds by removing unnecessary crud from web pages. If you want to see just how much data you've saved, you can click settings and at the bottom of the list, it will tell you just how much data you saved during a preset period. If you're on a spotty or weak connection, then downloading a web page might be useful if you want access to an article or some other site info. To download a web page for offline access, just tap the Chrome menu and tap the download icon. It will be stored in the downloads folder so you can access it when it's been downloaded. On top of that, if you are already on a poor connection, then you can use the load page later option to download in the background when your connection is more stable. Unfortunately, some sites have annoying auto playing videos and audio, but you can block or mute them automatically by heading into Chrome settings, site settings, sound and toggling off. Not only that, but you can even block sites individually too, if you know of any repeat offenders. A tip that makes searching on Chrome for Android far easier, you can just highlight a piece of text and then you can tap and search for that word or phrase directly with no extra steps necessary. For some unknown reason, there are websites that will block your option to zoom. By heading into settings, accessibility and force enable zoom, you should now be able to zoom in on text, images and sites no matter where they happen to be. So that is just 10 of our favorite tips and tricks for Chrome on Android. It's by no means the most comprehensive, but we'll leave all Chrome flags in the description if you do want to enable any of the options for yourself. Now, of course, let's open the floor to you. Do you have any tips or tricks of your own? Let us know down in the comments section below. But with that said, this is Damien with 9to5Google. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, I will speak to you later.